What if your phone's software could look and feel brand new without you buying a new device? That's exactly what Samsung is doing with One UI 8.5, and the latest leaks show that it's shaping up to be much more polished than what we saw before Dotso. Here's the story. Samsung has been hard at work refining One UI 8.5, and recently, a new Galaxy S25 Ultra firmware leak revealed even more tweaks and changes. Now, if you remember, the first leaked firmware had some rough edges. Some icons weren't finished, a few design choices looked odd, and overall it felt incomplete. But in this new build, Samsung seems to be cleaning things up and paying more attention to detail. Take the quick panel widget buttons, for example. In the earlier leak, they were kind of an eyesore, but now they've been redesigned and look much more polished. The digital well-being app also got a little Mac over with larger, easier to tap buttons. It's a small thing, but these small changes really add up when you use your phone every single day. Another interesting tweak shows up when editing the lock screen. Now, if you tap on an app shortcut instead of just a small list, you get a full pop-up window with all available apps. That means more flexibility and smoother customization right at your fingertips. The phone app has also been updated. Samsung switched to an icon-only bottom bar earlier, but in this new version, the bar stretches across the full width of the screen. The actual buttons are still small, but the new layout looks cleaner and more balanced. The weather app, on the other hand, now mirrors the settings app by moving the search bar to the bottom of the screen, making it easier to reach. Samsung has also boxed the location name at the top so it stands out more clearly. And speaking of the weather, settings, and gallery app Samsung has added a very subtle gradient effect at the top and bottom of these screens. It gives you a little preview of what's coming next as you scroll, and it just makes the interface feel smoother and more modern. The gallery is also seeing a change with the Galaxy AI photo editing menu. It now has a more stylized look, and the bottom navigation bar shows all the tab names at once. No more scrolling side to side just to switch between features. That's a quality of life update that many users will appreciate. Even the screen recorder has been redesigned. The buttons are larger and each option comes with an icon that explains its function visually. This makes it easier for people who might not be familiar with all the settings. All of these changes might sound minor on their own. But together, they show how Samsung is working to refine the overall user experience. It's not just about big headline features, it's also about the small details that make using your phone smoother and more enjoyable. And keep in mind, this is still early development. One UI 8.5 hasn't officially rolled out yet. So there's a good chance Samsung has even more improvements and visual tweaks planned before the stable version goes public. So. The big question is are these changes enough to get you excited about One UI 8.5? Do you think Samsung is moving in the right direction with these refinements? Or do you feel it's just polishing what's already there? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated on Samsung's latest software and device news, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. That way, you'll always be the first to know when something new drops.